This is a repair of a thermal stylus model uh, 1100. It plugs in and it looks like it's charging its screen, but when you try to press the power button, it doesn't turn on. The very first thing that you want to do is to remove all the screws. They're just a screw uh, star screwdriver. There are three screws on the front. And then there's this little clip at the front that you're going to have to pry off. I was able to pry it off with my fingers. And then just using a flathead screwdriver, go around and you can crack the model open. You can t remove the sticker to save it. And there we go. Here's the inside. You can see the yellow batteries. This is the very first thing that I checked with my multimeter and I measured only half a volt on the battery. That's definitely uh, an issue. They should be 3.7. So I've taken it out and at, if you measure at the bottom it should give you about 8 volts but it wasn't giving me that at all. So to verify that this is a problem I connected my own power source uh, 8 volts to verify if this was the issue and you can see it turns on. It's spinning there. It's taking about 3 amps, 3 amps at 7 volts. So it's clearly the problem is with these batteries. These batteries are totally dead. They're lithium ion, 3.7 volts. So we'll have to remove those bad batteries. I'm just using a razor blade to cut them all off. These batteries are 18650 and I'll leave a, a link in the description below. My new batteries, you can see they give about 4.1 volts, 4.2 and 8.2, so these are pretty much charged. And you just wanna make sure that you put the positive to the left and the negative to the right, as you can see right there. You can see that my batteries are working, so I know that I can put these batteries on now. Right now I'm soldering on the batteries, the new batteries. Just verify that you're using the right one. You can there it's labeled a positive and negative. There they are soldered on. And now we just have to reassemble it, putting the batteries and the motor back into the machine the device, making sure everything fits. Here's a little diagram to see the wires that go to the button and to the motor, putting on the case, it should just clip back on and apply, uh, re screwing it back together. And there we go, I'm just putting on the power button and you can see it starts up and it's working nicely. When you charge the device, make sure the head's facing down as uh, it's shown in this video. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.